You may remember that the book of Deuteronomy is a book of instruction. In fact, the original Hebrew title of the book would translate today simply as words. And the Greek title for it is second or repeated law. In Deuteronomy 18, we see that repeated words and laws regarding three different things, offerings and tithes to be given by the people to supply for the needs of their faithful spiritual leaders. Also a call to holiness, to a lifestyle clearly different and separate from the idolatry of the people that surrounded them. And clarity given about true and false prophets, those who truly speak for God and those who don't, and what to do with those who don't. You'll have to read verse 20 to find out more about that. But beyond this instruction, there's also this promise in verse 15 that another prophet would arise after Moses. And Moses says, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your fellow Israelites. You must listen to him. You see, here's what's interesting. In the New Testament book of Acts, the apostle Peter and Stephen, who was the first Christian martyr, quote this verse revealing that the coming prophet wasn't Joshua, as the Jewish people originally thought, but Jesus being promised as the one coming who would ultimately speak on behalf of God. See, as believers in Jesus today, we recognize that Jesus fulfills the law on our behalf and changes our lives, not because of the law, but because of his love. And so we give to our local church because we love Jesus. We live holy lives because we love Jesus. And we live and learn God's word because we're in a relationship with Jesus. You see, giving, holiness, learning and living God's word are not laws we live by to gain God's favor, but they're disciplines, habits, rhythms we live in because we love Jesus. And ultimately, they're for our good and they bring God great glory.